As do Detroit 2020 stories under the banner Against All Odds. Well, tonight we have a story to salute the General Motors Foundation and their efforts to help high school students succeed. Underprivileged students from Buffalo, New York have been brought to the Motor City two years in a row to learn from auto execs here in Detroit and to take with them the ability to dream big. General Motors has been around since 1908. And the jobs in this auto giant are far too many to count. But for high school students in poor urban communities, what GM has to offer is oftentimes considered out of reach. Here they come. Here they come. But the gap just got a little smaller, at least for these young ladies who were hand selected to travel here to the Motor City from Buffalo, New York, to see firsthand what GM has to offer to employees who look just like them. It's interesting because before then I didn't know that so many people had different jobs and they impacted me positively so now I have a mindset much bigger than what I had a few days ago. And I just want people to be motivated to do things other than what they're told they can or can't do. In Buffalo, this woman, Jennifer Parker, started an initiative called Success Looks Like Me. She raised $500,000 for an endowment to give minorities in low-income areas access to places and experiences they normally would not see. She's seen a major difference in the students who have taken part. The world changed. The principals and the teachers said that they were more serious in school. They just had options. That's what it is about. They toured GM headquarters, visited the design center, and even had lunch with women of color who work for GM. And as an added bonus, they all got a chance to tour Channel 7, the oldest ABC affiliate in the country. Nina Price is a community relations manager for GM, and she's the project manager for Success Looks Like Me. I think it's so um, important that our young ladies see that there's people that look like them who's very successful in, in the auto industry. And after touring GM, having dinner, and seeing a new and improved Detroit, did anything surprise you when you think about what you heard about Detroit and then seeing Detroit? Yeah, because Detroit had a bad connotation before I came here. So the fact that I came here, and it was it, like the downtown itself was beautiful. These young ladies are juniors and seniors in high school. And before this trip, many said they had no idea what they wanted to pursue as a career. But now, their eyes are wide open. What do you think you want to do? I think I want to work for GM, like designing. Like before I even left, I was designing my own car because I was so inspired. Boy, they all were inspired, I'd say. The GM Foundation will continue their mentorship through initiatives like Success Looks Like Me, so young students will see inroads into the auto industry, especially young women who don't always choose engineering as a pathway to success. But I bet a lot of those young ladies have changed their minds. Yeah, when you can see success in your own image, there's nothing more powerful for exactly. a young person. Beautiful. That's great. Mm -hmm. Science! <laughs>